a morgue or mortuary is used for the storage of human corpses awaiting identification or removal for autopsy or disposal by burial, cremation or other method. In modern times corpses have customarily been refrigerated to delay decomposition. Etymology and lexicology, mortuary early 14 c, from Anglo-French mortuary gift to a parish priest from a deceased parishioner, from medieval Latin mortuarium, now new subneuter of late Latin adjective mortuarius pertaining to the dead, from Latin mortuus, pp of mori to die, meaning place where bodies are kept temporarily first recorded 1865, a euphemism for earlier English term deadhouse. Morgue from the French morgue, which means to look at solemnly, to defy. First used to describe the inner wicket of a prison, where new prisoners were kept so that jailers and turkeys could recognize them in the future, it took on its modern meaning in 15th century Paris, being used to describe part of the car sent telet used for the storage and identification of unknown corpses. Morgue is predominantly used in North American English, while mortuary is more common in British English, although both terms are used interchangeably. The euphemisms a euro oe rose cottage a euro and a euro oe rainbow a euro unregistered trademark s and a euro are sometimes used in British hospitals to enable discussion in front of patients, the latter mainly for children. A person responsible for handling and washing bodies is now known as a dema, morgue attendant, or autopsy technician. Types of cold chambers, there are two types of mortuary cold chambers, positive temperature, bodies are kept between 2 a degree Celsius and 4 a degree Celsius. While this is usually used for keeping bodies for up to several weeks, it does not prevent decomposition, which continues at a slower rate than at room temperature. Negative temperature, bodies are kept at between a 10 a degree Celsius and a 50 a degree Celsius. Usually used at forensic institutes, particularly when a body has not been identified. At these temperatures the body is completely frozen and decomposition is very much reduced. Mortuaries across the globe. In some countries, the body of the deceased is embalmed before disposal, which makes refrigeration unnecessary. In many countries, the family of the deceased must make the burial within 72 hours of death, but in some other countries it is usual that burial takes place some weeks or months after the death. This is why some corpses are kept as long as one or two years at a hospital or in a funeral home. When the family has enough money to organize the ceremony, the corpse is taken from the coal chamber for burial. In some funeral homes, the morgue is in the same room, or directly adjacent to, the specially designed ovens, known as retorts, that are used in funerary cremation. Some religions dictate that, should a body be cremated, the family must witness its incineration. To honor these religious rites, many funeral homes install a viewing window, which allows the family to watch as the body is inserted into the retort. In this way, the family can honor their customs without entering the morgue. Equals waiting mortuary equals, a waiting mortuary is a mortuary building designed specifically for the purpose of confirming that deceased persons are truly deceased. Prior to the advent of modern methods of verifying death, people feared that they would be buried alive. To alleviate such fears, the recently deceased were housed for a time in waiting mortuaries, where attendants would watch for signs of life. The corpses would be allowed to decompose partially prior to burial. Waiting mortuaries were most popular in 19th century Germany, and were often large ornate halls. A bell was strung to the corpses to alert attendants of any motion. Although there is no documented case of a person being saved from accidental burial in this way, it is sometimes erroneously believed that this was the origin of the phrase a euro oe saved by the bell a euro, whilst in fact, the phrase originates from the sport of boxing. Alternate meanings, in American English, morgue is used to refer to the room in which newspaper or magazine publishers keep their back issues and other historical references, as they serve a similar purpose to human morgues. See Morgue File. Morgue is used in some science fiction books as the name for the armory aboard ships, when they contain some form of powered armor. Mortuary can also refer to a funeral home. See also, body bag, pathology, tissue digestion, toe tag. References <laughs>